video i am going to explain how we can analyze uh, running background processes like if there is any malicious process running behind then how you can track it and how you can kill it in windows system so for that i am going to open a notepad so so this is one process like if i open a notepad so this is the process and if i want to learn more about this i will just right click on taskbar below so just right click there click on start task manager so here you can just analyze tasks which are running behind your computer so there are plenty of tasks running in our computer you can just find all tasks by scrolling down below so here you can see it is displaying its cpu count uh, how much memory it is uh, using how much disk space it is using how much percent of network it is using so you can just gather more information about this task if you found any task is suspicious and using more cpu as well as more memory and uh, if you found it is not related to your computer or any program which you are using then you can just kill that task to kill that task you have to just select that task and click on end task button in top, uh, bottom right corner so here i am using notepad and if it is any suspicious i will just select that task and in bottom right corner just click on end task to kill that process so this is how you can just kill any process from using task manager if you want to gather more information about any application or a uh, its detail then you can just expand that application like uh, it will display its uh, process parent process and child process if you go to details it will display more information about that task like its uh, pid its status then its uh, username which user is using that task then uh, cpu how much cpu it is using and many more things so this is how you can just gather more information about particular task here pid is important you can just kill any task by using pid if you want to sort that task using uh, cpu count you can just select on cpu there is another method to open task manager you can just use control alt delete and click on task manager to open task manager so instead of right clicking on task menu you can just use control alt delete to open the task manager so here you can see it is displaying processes which are running behind so i will just close this now if you want to uh, list all tasks by using command prompt just open cmd or command prompt and if you want to display all tasks you can use command task list it will display all tasks running behind so here you can see it is displaying plenty of tasks i will just scroll up to gather more information about this task okay it is taking too much time okay so first it is displaying image name like it is a uh, what task it is running then process id of that task then session name then uh, how much session that task is created and memory and how much uh, how much memory it is using so this is how you can list task using command prompt now if you want to kill any task using command prompt what you can do you can just list that task pid and uh, use command like task kill and slash pid and mention that pid so here i have open notepad and its pid is so it is a notepad.exe and its pid is 3248 now if i want to close the notepad what i will do i will use command like task kill then slash capital pid and mention the pid after that so use here slash capital pid and it is 3248 so just mention that pid here and hit the enter button now here you can see it open do you want to save this I, if i click on don't save it automatically close our notepad so this is how you can close any task from using command prompt there is another method you can use powershell to open any uh, to list the processes running behind and close those processes so i am just opening here powershell you can just open windows and powershell and to list all the processes running behind you can use command like get hyphen process so this will display all the process running behind so here you can see it is displaying all the processes running behind if i scroll up just scroll up so it is uh, displaying like handle then npm then pm then ws cpu and its pid and process name and everything by using this get hyphen process detail now if you want to sort this uh, result then what i will do i will use clear command to clear the powershell now i will use get hyphen process and i will just list the processes uh, by using ex uh, descending order uh, on it on its 
CPU count. So I will use pipe operator sort. I am going to sort it out by CPU and descending order. Now it will list all the processes by its uh, CPU uses in descending order. So here you can see uh, PID 402 is using CPU like 427.78. Another task double triple two eight is using twenty six point twenty five CPU. Another uh, task five three eight four is using twenty five point ninety seven percent CPU. So this is how you can just sort the task by using uh, this sort command. To clear the screen, you can use clear. Now, if I want to display any particular like top three or top five into this, what I will do? I will use same command like get process hyphen pipe operator sort CPU hyphen descending then pipe operator again then i will use select then use hyphen first so it will display first and thereafter mention how much uh, task you want to display so i am going to display it first three tasks so i will use three and then use hyphen property and mention what things you want to mention like if you want to display only id you can use id if you want to display its process name you can use comma process name if you want to display its cpu users then you can use comma cpu so this is how you can sort or display the processes which are using more CPU on your system by using PowerShell.